So Keith Ellison of Minnesota has altered the charges against Derek Chauvin, the killer of George Floyd, from third degree murder to second degree murder. The question is, why would he set a higher bar, bar for himself that he's much more unlikely to achieve? In order to prove second degree murder, you have to prove intent. There is there are witnesses that have stated that the cops were talking between each other as to the best way to keep George Floyd alive. This doesn't excuse what Derek Chauvin did in terms of kneeling on his neck for eight minutes. That definitely was a crime and it was police brutality, but was it second degree murder? That becomes the question because you have to be able to convince 12 jurors beyond a reasonable doubt that he had intent to kill. When the jurors hear that the officers were talking amongst one another as to how to keep him alive, reasonable doubt is very likely going to be created. So the question that I have is why did Keith Ellison do this? What is his strategy? If I take a look at it through a game theoretical lens, which we should always do, we should always look at what is in the best interest of the person and the actions that they are taking. If I look at it from a very skeptical point of view in terms of the personalities involved, I would have to say that if Keith Ellison wins, then he is a hero. He comes riding in on his white or black horse, whatever horse you want for these racial times, but the white horse is what was common, so let's just keep it there. He comes in riding in on his white horse to the left-hand side of the aisle and declares victory and declares, look what I've been able to do. Okay, so in one scenario, he's a hero. If they are unable and the cops get acquitted, then he gets to prove I believe what is an underlying sentiment that he has that America is racist and how could they acquit the officers based on the evidence that everybody has seen the tape and they've seen this person perpetrating this horrible act of keeping his knee on the neck of a handcuffed man. That is definite police brutality. The question is whether or not it's second degree murder. And I don't believe that you're going to be able to convince 12 jurors that it was my prediction as to what we're going to be headed towards is possibly more riots, more political dissolution. And it is at a time when the country and the apparatuses that hold us together are already under great strain. And yet you add this pressure. If you keep the charges as they are, you're going to fail in court of law. And this is what we're going to have. So let the video state that if I'm on the jury, that I will have a hard time believing that it's second degree murder when the cops are bantering back and forth as to how to keep him alive. That's the discussion, regardless of what happened. When you find out that George Floyd had an underlying heart condition and was on fentanyl at the time, and it might have been a fentanyl overdose combined with the fact that he had pressure on his neck and was scared, et cetera, et cetera. But to convince me that it was second degree murder is going to be very difficult. This stitch in time in American history will be looked at for a long time to come. Personally, I hope that we make it through. I'm not 100% certain I've seen the leftist propaganda that's been going through the universities and the Marxist teachings that everybody is a victim. Young people, they don't believe that they have agency over their lives because their parents have been taking care of everything. And this is what is now materializing and coming to fruition in the United States of America. And it saddens me greatly. But again, take a look at Keith Ellison and the game theoretical aspect of his actions and why he might be doing it. Let's hope that it's not for these selfish and nefarious reasons that I've just mentioned. Sadly, I think it is very likely to be the case. If you guys like this content, please share it and leave a comment uh, for me so I can find out how I'm wrong. Peace and blessings to everybody. Subscribe.